Okay, and everybody set? Action! Hello everyone, I'm Philip Snyder. I play the role of Lucius Caliban in the um, uh, upcoming film. And my favorite moment from said film was during one of our fight scenes. Uh, it was a mistake, but when I was supposed to get punched in the face, I actually got punched in the face. I, I tried to pull my punch, but, but Phil, <laughs> Phil leaned into it and I accidentally just decked him in the face. And it wasn't bad, we kept filming, it was kind of funny. Yeah, but he walked around with like a big welt on his forehead for like an hour or so. And what I think is funny is that uh, even though we were using actual guns, fireworks, smoke bombs, all this stuff, uh, of all the things that could have gone wrong, I was the one that happened to punch Phil right in the face. So my favorite part of Dave's Bolt was definitely during post-production, I had to go through and like label all the sounds and stuff. And in these wireless mics, people would like talk to you just because they knew that you could hear them but you couldn't answer them. So like you could hear like all the like one-sided conversations happening through the mic. So there's like times where like Olivia was like running and she was like, oh, I'm so out of breath. Like I can't do this. Like this is terrible. And it was just like a bunch of funny little cameos that like roll through your head because you remember them happening in real life. My favorite moment was at one point Logan like grabbed me from behind and I backed up and accidentally like hit him against the trailer that was behind us and just like totally knocked the wind out of him and I felt so bad. My name is Haley. Yeah. I was. Um, the assistant to the assistant director. My favorite part of the movie had to have been driving a truck through a wall. My favorite part of the movie was probably getting to learn a bunch of new things and being stuck in a shipping container for about an hour just so that we were out of the way for the film. Being a part of this movie just kind of gave me a lot of respect for filmmakers because I didn't really know how much I actually went into just preparing what was necessary for it. A funny moment while filming was when I had to play dead for three hours and I could not move and I had to concentrate on not breathing and I ended up taking a nap for a lot of it. Uh, my favorite moment was seeing the practical effects like the air cannon and the explosions come to life through the use of editing. I uh, probably just the church scene just because it was we had a lot of people there and there was really good energy because it was right at the beginning of the day. It was really fun like learning everything about the cameras. We had a really cool guy named Colin come who taught me so much. Also Mr. Fairbanks and Cindy Pham of course. And overall it was just a really cool experience. Just learned about like what it really kind of kind of took to start this thing because we were all new to it. We were all learning stuff and it was just it was it was a blast. I got to say we were just we rolled a car and I guess that's just when it that's just when it all started picking up from there. My favorite memory was in the mine shaft scene with the firecrackers because it scared me a lot. It was really weird to just be sitting there and then all of a sudden just boom there's firecrackers going off. Probably my favorite memory on set is doing the big action sequence. It was just incredible the scope of it. Uh, getting to run around, do cool things, watching everyone put their part into it was absolutely incredible. And then just seeing it afterwards was, it blew my mind. My favorite memory was probably at one point in the film, I got to be hooked up to like a, a blood sprayer. Um, and it just, it was really messy and really fun. And every, I think everyone just kind of had a good time. Uh, my favorite part in the movie was probably when we were filming the, the, tavern scene or the pub scene. It just showed uh, our chemistry as a cast and I really liked it. We were singing, we were, we were dancing and uh, it just uh, felt really good to be a part of it. Even though I wasn't a film student, I was still allowed the opportunity to help out with one of my favorite teachers, Mr. Fairbanks, and be a part of something that I have never really been a part of before, which is filmmaking. And it was very interesting to see how everything was done and how it's put together and to finally see the final production of the project. In film we have made quite a few premiere projects but this is definitely the biggest one that we have ever made. So all of the audio you hear in movies is usually fake and produced in a sound booth and we tried to do that this time and the vast majority of the sounds and songs and everything else that you'll hear in this film are post-production editing. And it's honestly, it's crazy for me to think about the fact that we stopped filming in the second week of April. 
and we're premiering this film the second week of May. And the fact that we were able to uh, do all of the editing and post-production work for such a huge project uh, in really a th less than 30 days is nothing short of miraculous. I mean, we're pretty proud of this production. Um, doing Days Volt was a big part of what I want to do when I grow up since I want to be in the film industry. And the like professionalism all across the board was amazing. And it was just amazing to watch the whole thing like from bits turn into one giant movie. It was just phenomenal. It was really nice seeing how we were able to create something so wonderful, so professional on a very small budget through the use of hard work and lots of donations. Not everyone gets to experience being on a movie set at all in their entire lives. So it's a huge opportunity that I was able to take advantage of. I have just learned so much from this movie and just learned how much goes into it and everything that I totally underestimated before. And I'm just really grateful for this experience overall. And I think what I learned the most is about perseverance, which I really think ties in with the name of the movie, God Wills It, because it just kind of shows you have to trust in a lot of different things if you want good results. What this means to me, uh, both as a senior and just as who I am, is I love acting. So this was a dream come true that I got to do something this big. All right, as a, a two-year film student, you know, the first year was kind of not too great because of COVID. So I didn't actually get the experience of making a film, of really going all out and working with the entire class. So this was my one and only chance to actually make something incredible. And so as a second year film student, this meant everything to me. This was kind of the finale of my uh, high school film career. This means a lot to me because we finally were able to make the premiere film that was very hyped up last year that we missed out on and I'm just very glad that this worked out in the way that it did. By doing this and putting all of our work and spending a lot of money on the production, it gives us the ability to accomplish that and for our senior year, and it's really nice to do that. As a senior at Building Central, this film meant so much to me. Um, in an era of COVID, when so much has been canceled, uh, from sports to limited graduations, and different events, it's just really cool we were able, able to produce something so amazing and so cool, even with the circumstances. I'm just so grateful that for my senior year, after the craziness of last year, that we really get a, we even just get to make a movie, and I'm just so happy that we made a really good movie, and I couldn't be prouder of what we did. 